Okay, so back again. Uh, so looking at technique. Um, this is a technique I've found useful. Uh, if I look throughout history and various other cultures, so uh, Middle Eastern and Asian cultures in particular, uh, then this type of draw looks or appears to be very, very common. And my thinking on that now, uh, I sort of started arriving there through experientially feeling that, my body wanting to um, find the shortest way possible. Uh, and what it appears to me in my mind um, when I observe Joe Gibbs is his body has there's an element in there of that same process. So I use this. I was initially using this just as uh, an awareness. I've now just started to train it as its own piece, its own section, and that is uh, starting high and bringing the bow down into, um, into full draw. So if I come up high, the fastest way for my uh, hands to get to where they need to be is to go there. But they remain in the same shape essentially, and it's these big muscles here, so these smaller muscles of the arms, so instead of, I used to try and draw the bow back, that's engaging all the back of this arm and shoulder, or for they try pushing the bow out, so I've got a bit of feedback about pushing the bow out, once again this arm has to push itself out, whereas from here, they remain in the same shapes, and I'm just squeezing, or prying, or pulling my, using my torso to pull these arms into shape and down and then I might uh, well then what I've started doing is to crank that back there so I'm using as much as I can of the back muscles um, and yeah saving the saving the work that these arms have to do uh, get them working as, li as little as they have to um, because they are the they seem to be the weak point in trying to draw a high poundage bow uh, so once again I'm gonna I'll just show how what I'm up to this has been a technique that has been useful for me uh, I'm not saying it is the be all or end all, but this is what I've found useful. So when I put this element into whether it's just coming up, just pull it out, or going up and then down, whatever it is, there's a moment, there's a moment which I believe is very, very um, biomechanically efficient movement. The arms are already set in shape, they don't have to push out anywhere, they don't have to pull anywhere, being the smallest set of muscles within this torso possibility. There we go. Starting up high, have a big inhale. Oh, on the roof. And so that particular technique is what I've found useful for my own bow training and was what I'm going to accentuate and utilize in my push um, when I, for summertime. So I'm going to settle into 155 uh, for winter training, 155, and uh, yeah, come spring I'll have a really nice solid foundation and also too engaging more of a biomechanical efficient movement um, yeah biomechanical advantage over muscular limitation so um, once again these are the smallest muscles compared to these and if I can use these only as much as they have to then that has got to be far more efficient use of energy and power um, but yeah if this has been useful to you please subscribe and put up a comment Okay, once again, this is just my opinion and what I'm finding useful in my own training. Hope it's useful. Cheers.